Hi everyone. So with the new PDR update, I went in and tried out some Jade Harvester Witch Doctor and made this T16 setup here. It is actually really interesting and fun. So the way this works is that I have the new seasonal theme power, that one that spreads haunt to enemies affected by Locust Swarm. So I used the Pestilence Rune on Locust Swarm that just spreads to everything immediately basically. And I had the Haunt Belt for plus one target and the Haunt Rune for another plus one target. So every enemy that the Locust Storm would affect would trigger three horns that would essentially immediately evaporate everything on the screen because of the Jade House, the two-piece burners, that when you hit an already haunted enemy, you deal a lot of damage. Unfortunately, it's not really like strong for GR pushing. I expect this would be a pretty solid buff to Jade Witch Doctor, but Jade Witch Doctor is just so weak these days that even a rather strong season theme power can't solve that. So it just needs like way more buffs to be any kind of like GR viable. I tried it out, you're gonna see this in a second. But it's <laughs> this build is actually pretty fun for the 16, especially in those big open maps when the Locust Swarm can spread everywhere. And I gotta say the visuals just look amazing. Look at those horns just flying all over the place and just obliterating. So this is Essentially, without pressing buttons, you could actually make this better by um, just casting Locust Storm here and there yourself, and you would spread even more horns, even more quickly everywhere. So potentially, you could do some kind of like low GR farming setup, like GR 90s or this, and it would probably still work. In a high GR setting with a push, I expected this would actually be fairly solid as well. So I had a similar setup with the three horns per affected enemy. And you see like all these horns flying, it's just like a ball of uh, blue effects here that uh, you can see on the enemies. But yeah, the build is just weak, it doesn't do enough damage and it's squishy. So it didn't really work out for that. But on the, those low tiers, when you just want to like run through, everything dies from the second application. That is actually pretty good. Another problem that the build has in a push scenario is that, well, your AOE damage is massively improved but your single target damage is basically not at all. So that even if you do make it to a Rift Guardian on like a high tier, it's just gonna take forever to die. So in that case, I wouldn't really recommend Jade for that, but here this works like a charm. Either way, another fun little build to look forward to for the Witch Doctors, I believe. They do seem overall fairly solid with the new update. So there is more to come that I wanna share, especially for Mundunugu. And let's see how it will all turn out in the end. So hope you enjoyed this little video. Subscribe for more D3 content and I'll see you guys next time.